Many types of wall insulation exist today. Each type has variable properties and costs. This module will provide an introduction to the main types of wall insulation in use today and some of their respective advantages and disadvantages. We'll discuss fiberglass bat insulation, loose fiber insulation, spray fiber, spray foam, and a flash and bat form of wall insulation. Bat insulation is the most common form of insulation used in walls. Uh, while other materials are being introduced in bat form, uh, fiberglass is the most common. Some now fibrous or cotton-based uh, materials or recycled content materials are also sold in bats. Um, bat insulation refers to insulation that's uh, made in different widths, uh, which allows it to fit between framing members. So our walls are built with studs at 16 inch or 24 inch centers and these uh, products are made to fit nicely in between them. Uh, framing members like headers uh, and uh, electrical boxes can inhibit the installation of uh, this type of siding so it does have its disadvantages because of its rigidity and the need to cut around different types of obstructions and uh, mem parts of walls that can interfere with the installation of the insulation. Loose fiber is gaining in popularity. It can be made of fiberglass or paper fiber or cotton. Uh, some products also have recycled content. Uh, loose fiber can be blown into wall cavities, uh, making it an uh, increasingly popular choice for energy upgrades uh, for walls that were built without any insulation in the first place. Um, this chart illustrates the variable depth of loose fiber insulation and the level of R value that could be uh, built up depending on the wall stud size. So a 2x4 wall stud cavity could result in a 3.5 inch thick uh, loose fiber insulation wall and R15 2x6 accordingly R23 2x8 wall frame construction R31. Spray fiber insulation has a water base that evaporates after it's applied uh, it's typically applied in a slurry and one of its advantages is that in this form it can fill gaps between framing members and uh, end up being a little bit more densely compact than a loose fiber material. Uh, after the material dries the overspray is shaved off and can usually be reused so there's very little waste associated with this product even though it looks like there's a lot of waste in its application. Uh, in this uh, particular uh, application you can see uh, the rim joist where a nice amount of fiber insulation has been built up. Uh, this would be a hard place to insulate well with fiberglass but this uh, the adherence of the spray fiber in this particular location makes it a nice choice to seal up the band joist. And uh, here you can see how the built up spray material has been milled off so it's level with the wall studs and ready for the application of drywall. Spray foam insulation is also, as the name implies, sprayed in place. There are a variety of different chemicals and forms of spray foam insulation, uh, but they all have the advantage of being able to reach into gaps and fill them up and seal the wall up very nicely and reduce infiltration as well as providing a high, a high R value. Um, because the R value of foam is greater than fiberglass you can achieve a higher R value in the same cavity of, uh, of wall surface. Um, also um, it can be added to basement wall conditions f without doing additional framing which would be needed for fiberglass. Here's an example of a basement wall that's been sprayed with uh, a foam which can help seal out moisture as well as improve the insulation value of the basement. Um, it's also possible to remove strips of siding and inject foam into wall cavities and even where cavities have older fiberglass uh, by injecting foam this original uh, fiberglass insulation can be displaced and we can really um, essentially um, pump the wall cavity full of new higher R value foam insulation and there's two videos that are accompany this module which illustrate uh, the techniques of applying the spray foam insulation as well as 
uh, a very detailed video explaining how uh, an existing home can be upgraded by filling wall cavities with uh, insulation uh, that's applied from the outside of the house. A newer technique combines the advantages of spray foam and the affordability of bat insulation and this is consisting of two steps and it's called flash and bat. So in the first step a flash coat or a uh, an application of foam is applied which seals up the wall cavity nicely but doesn't completely fill it up and still allows room for the application of bat insulation on top of it. So uh, this uh, can be a method that allows for again the advantages of the spray foam to fill up the gaps and seal the wall uh, with the affordability of bat insulation and these two methods combined can produce a very highly insulated wall uh, at an affordable cost.